Hey guys, welcome to another voiceover vlog, where I'm going to tell all of you my story on how I got all of my next-gen gaming consoles for, get this, their original price. I know, I know, it's a shocking experience. Let's start at the beginning. It all started with the first wave of PS5 pre-orders on September 16th where I overslept and missed the pre-orders due to playing Among Us for an unhealthy amount of time. So I went to Twitter to share my failure and addiction. And after I sent that tweet, I refreshed my timeline, and a miracle happened. Amazon, whose pre-orders were delayed by a few hours, went live as soon as I sent the failure tweet. I had to act fast, so I just clicked the first link to the Amazon page in the first tweet I saw, and I was able to sign in and buy the PS5. That was kind of stupid though, because someone could have just made a fake PS5 Amazon page, tweeted it out, and I could have just given someone my Amazon login. Don't get any ideas from that. What matters is that it was legit, and I was able to get the PS5 disc version. I also tried to get the digital version, but it was sold out right after I got the disc version. One console down, five to go. But a few days after I placed that pre-order, I got an email saying I might not get it on release day. To be continued. The next pre-order was for the Xbox Series X and S, on September 22nd at 8am. Enjoy the screen recording of me constantly refreshing the Best Buy page on the wrong day, because I thought pre-orders were the 21st, before realizing it was actually tomorrow. Tomorrow happens, and when the pre-order time happens, I try Best Buy again, which kept on saying coming soon on both Xbox versions. The Microsoft website crashed, the Amazon website crashed, the Target website would not let me pre-order it, GameStop made me wait in a queue, Walmart let me add both to my cart, but said they were out of stock when I went to check out. And I kept retrying all of those websites, and kept getting mostly similar results, with bugs and glitches mixed in. After that, I gave up on the internet. Then I remembered when GameStop gets a new batch of pre-orders, they usually save a certain amount for walk-ins in their stores. So I called both GameStops in town, and they said that they did have walk-in pre-orders available when they open. One store said that they already had the max amount of people waiting in line, and the other store didn't know how many people were lined up, so I decided to go to that store to be surprised. When I got there, to my dismay, there was already a good amount of people waiting outside in line, and I was the sixth person there. When we got into the store, they said they only had four Xbox Series X's and two Xbox Series S's available. Of course the four people in front got the Series X, so I got stuck with the stupid Virgin S. Sold to me by Nintendo's mascot though. Discouraged, I went home and tried the Best Buy website again. When I was in line at GameStop, pre-orders for the Series X opened at Best Buy, but there were many bugs and glitches. It would not let most people successfully pre-order, including me. So, I tried again at home, thinking it already sold out, since pre-orders went live several hours ago, so I didn't even bother to start a screen recording. I was able to add it to my cart, and when I went to check out, to my surprise, it checked out. I think I was able to get it, because that was probably the exact time Best Buy decided to fix their bugs and glitches. We could check off two consoles on the list that day. The next wave of capitalism came on September 25th, when GameStop announced that they will have more pre-orders for the PS5 available, but only for the disc version. Which is fine, because I needed another one. This time I didn't want to bother with online pre-orders, so I called both GameStops in town, and the one across town were able to tell me that they had 8 pre-orders and 6 people currently in line. I hung up, and ran over several people to get to that GameStop across town, and I got to be number 7 in line. Lucky. Then shortly after, someone claimed the number 8 spot. I thought I had really lucked out, because it was 8.30am, and I thought the store opened at 9am. I then found out that the store opens at noon. So, if I wanted a second PS5, I would have to wait there for 3 hours. I could afford to do that, due to having no life, so I decided to go ahead. Perfect since I didn't eat breakfast. The GameStop employee then gave us slips of paper to indicate our place in line. So, I thought we could just leave and do something else. Nope. Turns out we had to stay in line, so the slips of paper didn't really have any point. We were basically being held hostage there for a PS5! It wasn't so bad though. I made friends with the person next to me, and we played Among Us together on our phones. I also mentioned to him that I didn't eat breakfast, and he got his girlfriend, who was also waiting there with him, to get all of us breakfast. I offered to pay him back, but he declined. Now that's too generous! Things weren't all sunshine and rainbows though. We were waiting in line in front of a busy UPS store, and a lot of people had questions, and comments, about what we were doing. Waiting to get a free hearing test, obviously. 
Also, some guys got into a fight behind the building, and one of the guys from the fight showed everyone in line that his cheek was falling off from the fighting. Wish I was joking. Everyone wanted to call him an ambulance, but he just kept on declining and just disappeared when someone went ahead and called one. Luckily, before that happened, an old lady asked everyone in line if someone could help her lift a heavy package into the UPS store for $5. I told her I would help her for free, but she insisted with giving me the money, so I took it. Best five bucks I ever made, since I missed seeing someone's cheek falling off their face. Did I mention that this GameStop wasn't in the best part of town? But it was soon worth it, as when noon hit, we were finally let into the store and were able to make our pre-orders. It was almost worth being in that area of town. Another console that I can check off the list. It is now November 10th, Xbox Series X release day. I got an email a few weeks earlier saying I could come in as early as 6am to get it. So I woke up at 5.30am because I wanted to see if there was anyone as crazy as me to go out in this freezing weather, because it snowed the day before, to pick up an Xbox at this hour. To my surprise, when I got there, I saw multiple people coming out with Xbox Series Xs at exactly 6am. It was my turn now! An employee led me to the store and I was able to take home my brand new Xbox Series X! But not before doing a little meme in front of the store. I got the Xbox Series X all- oh. Yep. If you don't watch my main channel content, I feel bad for breaking this news to you, but I am a tech destruction channel, and most of these consoles are getting destroyed. That's what for video means. Also, on the day before the Series X release when I was in Best Buy, an employee who watches my videos told me that I better not destroy the Xbox Series X I would be picking up tomorrow. Well guys, I might be banned from Best Buy now. On my way home to destroy the Xbox on day one, I decided to stop by GameStop to see if there was anyone waiting in line, since GameStop said they would have some Xboxes on release day. To my surprise and horror, there are actually people waiting there. I say that because it was 11 degrees, 6.30am, and the store opens at 10am. Hope the hypothermia was worth it. But I can't help feeling bad for them. Here I am not getting hypothermia with an Xbox Series X in the trunk about to be destroyed. I'm on the highway to hell. I still destroyed it though, but I did feel kinda guilty while doing it. Click the eye in the top right corner if you want to see that video. Now it's November 11th, no consoles releasing today, but I was so busy with the Xbox Series X video, I forgot to pick up my Xbox Series S on launch day. After admiring how far malls have fallen, and seeing Brian Griffin hang himself, it was time to go into GameStop. The employee told me if I hadn't come to pick it up, he was gonna buy it for himself, so I guess I made it just in time. I couldn't help doing a meme with that one also. I got the Xbox Series S, oh Honestly, I have no idea on how I'm gonna destroy this. Now it's November 12th. The PS5's time to shine and be picked up. I went to the GameStop in the not so good area 10 minutes before they opened, and yes, there was a line there. Even though PlayStation said there'll be no PS5s available in store on launch day, so all of these people have confirmed pre-orders, so it's kinda pointless to come early and wait in a line. At least nothing sus, or really anything interesting happened there this time. We were let in at 10am, we waited a while in line, I got to see Comedy Gold, and I got my PS5. Plus said no to getting a protection plan, because obviously, I won't need it, and walked out. I got the PS5! After I got home, I got to destroying it right away. Click the eye in the top right corner if you want to see that video. When I was done, I went to my doorstep to get my second disc version PS5 from Amazon. The one I planned to keep and play. Even though I did get the infamous email from Amazon saying it might not get here on release day, it did. But one problem was that it was delivered to my parents' house, since I pre-ordered it when I was still living with them and forgot to change the address. Shout out to my dad for getting it to me right away after I finished destroying the first PS5. Except this one's gonna lead a normal life. Unlike his twin brother that got killed in a tragic accident. Look how good and big it looks on my TV stand. If you didn't catch on already, I'm kind of a PlayStation fanboy. I'm probably not gonna get a second Xbox Series X to play, because none of their games appeal to me. Unlike the PS5, where I wanted to get it on launch day just to play the built-in demo game. It's very good by the way, I'd say it's worth getting a PS5 or 2 on day 1 to play it. November 13th, Friday the 13th. I don't know if this counts as next gen, but Nintendo is releasing the Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Game & Watch today. And one of the GameStops said they would have 16 in stock for walk-ins when they open. When I got there, there were several other people waiting in line, so unless someone in front of me wants to buy all 16, I can easily get one. At this point, I now realize something. 
ordering the next-gen consoles online was a headache-inducing mess. And I don't know if it's just because I live in a small town, but the easiest way for me to get the next-gen consoles was to wait in line at a GameStop. I think they are the only stores that save some pre-orders for walk-ins, so if GameStop permanently goes out of business, I think I'll actually miss them. Oh yeah, I got two Gibbon watches. One to use as a clock, and I'm either gonna destroy or keep the other one in its box. Don't know yet. Now, I would say that the story ends here, but what about the one unchecked item on my grocery list? The PS5 Digital Edition. That one is the holy grail of next-gen gaming consoles for me. It always sells out fastest, and is barely restocked. But now, as I'm writing this script for this video, Walmart announced that they will be getting another round of PS5s, including the Digital Edition dropping soon. So, I will stop writing this script, and start screen recording, and see if I can get this missing check mark. Go go go! So yeah, I think this video will be to be continued on Black Friday. Bye!